But we'll take that and move on to our predictions for this game on Saturday. Uh, Jack and I have been have been looking into this uh, in depth, uh, definitely anticipating it a lot. It's been a while, but Jack, I'll let you give your thoughts first. Have final score, who wins, uh, how you think the, the game will progress over the course of the game. All right. I've got it UCLA 42, Colorado 35. I know Sam's going to say, how is Colorado going to score that much with a, a new quarterback, a new head coach? Yes, the quarterback hasn't played in a while. He is a safety turn quarterback um, because he because Colorado really needs a quarterback. They lost Steven Montez. He was great for them. I still think this is going to be a high-scoring game because UCLA's defense is transitioning a little bit. On their depth chart today, they came out with a 3-4 base defense, but a lot of a lot of the attention this fall training camp has been on their their transition to a 4-2-5 under Coach Brian Norwood. Now, he's just the defensive back coach, and he said it himself. Chip Kelly said it. You know, they'll still run whatever the defensive coordinator wants, but they, they're going to have to go to the 4-2-5 a lot, especially if Colorado does get hot through the air. They had a historically bad uh, passing defense last year, and that's not just fixed right away, especially in losing guys like Darnay Holmes from that, from that defensive backs room. Uh, I see Colorado being able to score, especially through the air, even if even if they are a little shaky. But I don't see Colorado's defense stopping UCLA's offense. I don't think it should be through the air. I think they should rely on Dimitri Felton, their whole host of running backs. They've got great wide receivers this year that could that could beat guys uh, after the catch. And I see UCLA scoring pretty easily all the way down. The 42-35, I think, is going to be closer it, it the game will seem closer at the end than it actually was. I think UCLA goes up by two or three touchdowns and then kind of take their foot off the gas. What are you thinking, Sam? Yeah, I, I think UCLA is going to score early and often. Uh, maybe not as as much as, as you are. I, I don't think they'll take their foot off the gas, but uh, when they get into the second half and they have a lead, then uh, they might try it, running a different type of offense. But the the final score, I'm going to go UCLA 34, Colorado 17. Uh, Sam Neuer, Colorado quarterback, is, uh, I mean, he's barely played a quarterback in, in Boulder these past couple of years. He played safety in special teams last year, which, I mean, it can happen. You got, you got Colson Yankoff playing receiver for the Bruins this year. I, I get it. It happens. But his career passer rating is, is below 80 uh, in, in not much time. But still, it's, it's not, a, not a great sign. Carl Durrell's first game, I think the off for Colorado is going to come out super flat. So even if UCLA is kind of experimenting and in a transition period, uh, I don't think that's going to really hurt them too much. If, if you are picking one opponent on the schedule who you want to see in your first game, trying out this new defense, this new balance, it's it's Colorado. They don't have LaVisca Chanel anymore. So it, it, it doesn't really... That, that kind of negates the loss of Darnay Holmes. You lose those linebackers, that's tough, but Steven Montez isn't there to, to pick him apart over the, over the middle anymore. And the way they run the defense, I mean, if you're running with two linebackers or, or three linebackers, maybe you do have enough guys out there. And we, Jack, we have talked about the loss of linebacker a lot. They lost probably five really good linebackers to, you still have Taylor and you got Carl Jones, depending on where he plays. Uh, you got Damian Sellers. You have backers. Uh, so I, I don't think the defense is as depleted as people are saying. I mean, the, the secondary is looking very similar outside of Darnay Holmes leaving. So picking on a young quarterback uh, and really having the, the freedom to do whatever they want offense, I think UCLA is going to go up early. They're going to experiment. Uh, they might have some turnovers, might be hiccups, but I think they're going to be pretty comfortable in this from, from start to finish yeah i mean you say young quarterback he is a senior so he's been on this team he's kind of inexperienced yes, inexperienced, inexperienced i'll say that <laughs> especially especially you know if you can get to him early if you still his defense can get to him early and often this this may well turn out to be a blowout but i think one thing that chip kelly said this morning at a press conference was really interesting he was a safety, so he moves well. He knows defenses. He knows how to play on the defensive side of the ball, so he knows what defenses are looking for from not only him but his wide receivers. It's it's kind of a thing 
where you have to you have to account for his natural athleticism. That's what Chip Kelly was talking about. This guy is athletic; he can move. If UCLA all of a sudden is getting burned by him on uh, when he's when he's rolling out, and they they just all of a sudden can't catch him, they might need to readjust their defense. They might need to readjust their thinking. And yes, while he is an unknown quantity and he's not been great so far, there's no telling if he could break out this week. There's no 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 one knows whether he might be the next you know. Baker Mayfield coming out here just surprising every single person. The next Johnny Manziel, where just out of nowhere this guy comes out and lights UCLA up. I don't see it happening. I don't particularly think it will happen, but I, I wouldn't rule out the possibility.